Hello guys, welcome back. So the rule set ran, it didn't take a lot of time, probably I would say give it 15 minutes to see the whole rule set running, depending on how much data you have. Now you can see here the job status shows as succeeded. We started with total of 1095 source profile. Basically it's the combination of records that came from Salesforce org as well as from Amazon S3. And after it ran the matching rule, the consolidation rate is 14%. So the total number of unique profile that got created is 946. The remaining, there were some duplicates. Okay. So this is your, if you click on this identity resolution, you will also see the consolidated consolidation rate over here 14 percent now how do you calculate consolidation rate we are going to see in the upcoming tutorials but out of these 1.1.1k source profiles the unique profiles are 946 so this is the with the help of matching rules we were able to figure out how many were duplicates and we were able to consolidate them now remember i talked about two objects being getting created. Now we are going to go to the data explorer here and in the select an object type, we're going to look for data model object. And here you're going to see the unified individual. Okay, so unified individual basically will have the unique profiles. So if I go ahead and click on unified individual CCID and uh, let's edit the columns here, we will keep birth date. We don't want created date. We will have first name, internal organization. We don't need it. Uh, last name. Let me move uh, first name on the top and then you have is last name, birth date, uh, photo URL, salutation, title. And if you want anything else, uh, I think this is good. We will move the unified individual ID. Okay. And let me move the unified individual ID on the very, very top. Okay. So this is the unified individual ID. We'll do it done. So now you will see that we have, these are the number of records we have in total. Now this particular object does not have any duplicates. How can I confirm that? So if you go to this filter, and if you go ahead and add a filter on last name, okay, we will go ahead and add a filter on last name, last name equals Rodriguez, hit done, hit apply. You're only going to see one record for Sophia Rodriguez and this is the birth date of them. This is the unified individual ID. Now, if you go to the other record, which is basically the unified link individual, what does that contain? Unified link individual basically is going to say that, okay, this unified individual ID is coming from two of the source system. Okay, so here, this is the individual ID, but you have to go with the unified individual ID. So I'll go back, actually, I'll figure out the unified individual CC ID. And uh, here, why don't I see the columns? Looks like the columns, I have to move this and we'll get rid of internal organization and then created date. We didn't need it. And then birth date unified individual ID is the first one. So we'll move this on the top and then uh, your birth date, last name, uh, all of that hit done here. And let's look for the ID of Sophia Rodriguez last name equals Rodriguez hit done hit apply okay only one record is available and this is the unified individual ID okay so let's go ahead and copy it and put it somewhere here now this ID I'm going to check in the unified link individual okay unified link one which is this and here, let's see how many records I see. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and edit the columns. I'm going to put data source, created date. We don't need it. Uh, individual ID, match keys, unified individual ID. Okay. And hit done. Here, if I do a filter and then add a filter here, and I'll say unified individual ID equals to this ID. How many records I'm going to see now? maybe I have to add it in a there was space here so to get rid of the space done apply 
two records. So it is telling me that one contact came from the Salesforce home, the other came from Amazon S3. This is the individual ID. That's why it is linking. It is linking the individual table with the unified individual table. And this is the unified individual ID. Both of them have the same unified individual ID, but one of the contact is coming from Salesforce home. The other one is coming from Amazon S3. Okay. Uh, Amazon S3 and then this is the Salesforce home. Now if you look at the individual DMO, individual DMO is still going to have two Rodriguez. Okay, two Rodriguez is still going to be there. So if I go here and we will look for last name equals uh, Rodriguez hit done apply. It's going to have two Sophia Rodriguez. So what happened is now the data has been uniquely present under the unified individual DMO and unified link DMO basically consists of the linkage between individual DMO and unified individual DMO. So this is it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.